I am back for Veda day number seven. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> well, I'm laughing right now for two reasons. One, I started to do my setup. Well, three reasons. Hey, baby. I started to do my, shh, the people can hear you. I started to do my setup, and then I realized how messy my apartment is behind me. I'm just like, Ooh. oh, don't judge me if you see, like, crap thrown all over the place. Two, I looked at my whole scope of videos that I've re I've done for the past couple of days and I realize I'm a little Debbie Downer just just a little bit and yeah no not very entertaining and three my apartment windows like face south so I'm caught between like east and west obviously and catching light I wanted to catch natural light before you know the sun went down <laughs> I don't know why that's funny but it is um I honestly don't have much to say today. Uh, eh. <laughs> Actually, I could kind of briefly talk about The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. It's on Netflix. Uh, I actually watched it a while ago, and I was going to try to rewatch it, like, or skim it to kind of give you an overview on it, but um, don't have a lot of time. So I'll just briefly say, like, I believe it was, like, uh, 12 or 13 episodes um it was funny like the first half of the series was really amusing and completely sat satirical hilarious sarcastic uh they have a very interesting ensemble cast ensemble <laughs> cast um but the latter half of the show got a little bit ridiculous and i'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who's interested in watching it but like the latter half of the show was just like, and I barely finished it. I'm the kind of person who, when I start a show, I finish it. So I finished it, but ultimately it wasn't the end of it. Kind of like I kind of lost focus and I didn't pay that much attention. Um, yeah. And I'm not, and since I don't want to give out spoilers, I can't really say what happens, but the premise of the show is a girl locked who, was uh i believe she was kidnapped she was kidnapped and she was held hostage by a cult leader in a like uh, you know a bomb shelter situation with three other women and she was kept there for like 10 15 years she was kept there for a very long time um so she was captured in high school and then by the time uh they broke her out she was like you know late 20s or so so uh, they arrested the guy, the cult leader, obviously, and um, they awarded the girl's money. Um, I guess it was from don donations. Again, I'm sorry. I haven't watched it in a while. And I I wanted to watch it again to give you guys like a real review, but it wasn't, it's not the kind of show that I would rewatch again. Like I would rewatch any episode of Doctor Who, like the latter Doctor Who's, like the 2009s and forward Doctor Who's, but this is not the type of show I'd rewatch, which makes it sound like I didn't really enjoy it, but the first part, I enjoyed it. Anyhow, so they granted her money, and she decided... They did, like, a, a television talk show situation in New York, and instead of going back to, I believe it was Indiana or Ohio or some... One of the middle states, no disrespect to the middle states, she decided, I'm going to stay in New York and make a life for myself in New York. And um, it's pretty funny. She has, like a gay roommate a black gay roommate who dresses up as like a, i forgot a power ranger or something like that and they have the nosy landlord who actually was in uh, i forgot her name carol something from uh one of my favorite movies uh, uh princess bride i can't say princess bride without saying the line hello my name is ingo mantoya you killed my father prepare to die i'm in such a weird mood so it's a it's a good show. I recommend it. It's half an hour each episode. It's 13 episodes. You could kill it in a day if you're a binge watcher like I am. And I am a binge watcher. So I think for the rest of my Veda ideas, I'm going to do like, you know, brief summary slash reviews on shows that I've enjoyed off of Netflix. Like I, I definitely wanted to do Daredevil. So good. So good. Want to watch that. Rewatch it before though. Because so good. Um, but yeah, that's my kind of brief review over the um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, it's on Netflix. 
which I love Netflix. Netflix and Hulu are everything. You don't need cable if you have Netflix, Hulu, and you have friends who are willing to loan you their HBO account. Hello, Game of Thrones. Who wasn't upset at the last episode? <laughs> you know what? We're not going to talk about Game of Thrones. Uh, I will see you in the next video.